Whenever SpaceX is mentioned, the colossal rocket starship is often the character that occupies the entire spotlight. However, recently, all eyes in the rocket enthusiast community have turned towards Falcon Heavy. Why is that? Let's expose everything in today's episode of Alpha Tech. We'll dive into the latest update about the Falcon Heavy with the important mission to launch X-37B and find out what trouble SpaceX is facing with Falcon Heavy. We also want to discuss China's mystery space plane. All right, let's move on. The United States Space Force 52 USS S-52 is a mission involving the orbital flight of the X-37B space plane. This mission plays a crucial role in exploring and utilizing space for the security and defense purposes of the United States. Due to the significance of this mission, the U.S. military chose to award SpaceX in June 2018 with the responsibility of using the Falcon Heavy heavy lift vehicle to transport this important mission into the designated orbit. According to the initial launch plan scheduled for December 10th, there were several reasons related to the rocket that led to continuous delays in the launch schedule for the mission over the following week. Shortly after, SpaceX swiftly announced a new schedule for Falcon Heavy over the weekend, stating, now targeting no earlier than Thursday, 28th December for Falcon Heavy to launch a USSF-52 to orbit from Florida, which is certainly good news. However, what we're more interested in is the reason behind such delays. This is indeed the first time that the Falcon Heavy rocket has encountered issues, a rare occurrence for SpaceX, given the absence of mechanical delays in the majority of the 90 launches of Falcon 9 and Heavy rockets in 2023. Setting aside weather-related reasons, SpaceX's Falcon Heavy is currently facing technical issues within its rocket system. This includes ground technical issues and rocket technical issues. A high-ranking official from the Space Force spoke about the reasons for this delay. We're working through a couple of technical glitches with our SpaceX team that just are going to take a little bit more time to work through, said Colonel James Horn, Deputy Director of the Space Force's Assured Access to Space Directorate. We haven't nailed down a specific launch date yet, but we're going to have to roll back into HIF, Horizontal Integration Facility, and work through some things on the rocket. Horn, a senior leader in the Space Force overseeing military launches like this, stated that the ground equipment issue hindering the initial liftoff could potentially be resolved within two working days. However, more time would be needed to address other issues that he declined to specify. We found some things that we need to run some analysis on, so that's what's driving the delay, he said. SpaceX was similarly vague in its explanation for the delay. In a post on the X social media platform, SpaceX mentioned that the company had temporarily halted the launch this week to perform additional system checks. To be honest, we can't know for certain what is broken, but for the rocket to be sent back to the horizontal integration facility and an almost two-week delay, it's got to be pretty serious. Either something at the pad, on the rocket, or both needs replacing, and it isn't a quick one. Nevertheless, we still expect Falcon Heavy to return to the launch pad as scheduled so that SpaceX will complete a satisfactory 2023. We've got to look at the schedule and balance that with all the other challenges, Horn said, but I hope we can get it off before the end of the year. Well, even though Horn said hopeful, I'd say he's still not exactly sitting still right now. Because China recently successfully launched a reusable space plane for the third time since 2020, in a series of secretive orbital test flights aimed at developing reusable technologies to reduce the cost of space missions. An interesting aspect in China's plan for a reusable space plane, called Shenlong or Divine Dragon, in Chinese, coincides with the equally secretive U.S. program of the autonomous space plane X-37B. Shenlong has completed two missions, with the latest mission lasting 276 days in orbit. Like X-37B, Shenlong is kept secret with no widely released images. Additionally, Harvard astronomer McDowell, who tracks rocket launches and space activities, notes, it is indeed similar to X-37, he said. Both are in the same 5-8 to eight ton mass range and probably about 10 meters long. The clear imitation of the U.S. model indicates China's interest in similar space capabilities. Therefore, it's not a coincidence that China's space plane planned to launch around the same time as X-37B. On December 14th, China's launch took place just hours after SpaceX canceled the countdown for the X-37B launch for the third time the previous week. 
However, not worried at all, Space Force General B. Chan Saltzman told reporters at an industry conference this week when he expected China to launch Shenlong around the same time as the forthcoming X-37B flight, and yet another twist to the growing rivalry between the two nations. It's no surprise that the Chinese are extremely interested in our space planes. We're extremely interested in theirs, Mr. Saltzman said, according to Air and Space Forces magazine, a U.S. aerospace journal. They're two of the most watched objects in orbit while they're in orbit. It's probably no coincidence that they're trying to match us in timing and sequence of this. Therefore, executing this mission needs to be done in a timely manner, preferably before the end of 2023, and certainly it must be successful. This is not only related to the reputation of a company like SpaceX, it's also tied to the competition of the United States, a global leader in the economic, military, and space sectors. On the other hand, the mission also needs to be done timely due to a packed launch schedule that could be congested by the delays of the Falcon Heavy launch. When ready for liftoff, the Falcon Heavy launch, along with the military space plane X-37B, may take a high priority in SpaceX's launch schedule. Thus, while Falcon Heavy is still grounded, the launch pad must remain prepared to spring into action whenever the rocket's ready to deploy. Meanwhile, SpaceX's NASA side pad is the primary pad for Dragon missions, crew, and cargo. It's also the only pad capable of launching the Falcon Heavy rocket, which consists of two Falcon 9 boosters strapped to the side of a center core Falcon booster. SpaceX will have as many as three missions from LC-39A, depending on a list of factors. After USSF-52's launch will be Axiom-3. According to a SpaceX official, the company has yet to pick a pad for the launch. The launcher recently completed a crew tower and access arm at SLC-40 allowing it to be used as a backup if LC-39A is not available. Slated to launch just a few days after Axiom-3, Intuitive Machine's IM-1 mission is also slated to launch from LC-39A. Depending on the integration facilities available at each pad, this one might be able to be moved. However, what moon mission doesn't want to take off from the same pad Apollo did? The final mission we have slated for the LC-39A in January is a cargo mission to the ISS, but this time not a Dragon. The first SpaceX Northrop Grumman Cygnus mission is expected to launch no earlier than January 29th. The most up-to-date information from NASA details the launch taking place from the historic launch site, but I see no reason why it couldn't be moved to SLC-40. One or more of these missions are going to have to be moved. While SpaceX has been lightning fast turning over SLC-40 between missions, movement between Falcon Heavy and crewed missions is a much longer process. Through a few other high-priority and sensitive missions in the bunch, and timelines start to stretch. And that's all for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Please let us know what you think in the comments section below. Your feedback's very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thanks so much for watching, and see you next time.